Hi everyone and welcome to my January reading roundup. So I only read five books in January because I've been super busy lately, but I had a bit of a mixed month, some good ones, some bad and some in between. So let's jump straight in. So I kicked off 2023 by reading Nerd Crush. Um, this one was really cute. It was an advanced reader copy. Um, I think I probably would have rated it higher if I'd been younger. It was still a really good read, but I think it was definitely targeted more towards younger readers. So I think that's what kind of took it down to a four star instead of a five for me. But it was really good. There was a really good message throughout the story of being proud of yourself, being true to yourself, that kind of thing. So I really liked that that message was enforced um, throughout the book. Um, I really liked Ramona. She was just so adorable and I loved her. Um, relationship with Caleb Grohl throughout the story. So it really was a really cute book. The only thing that brought it down is that it was definitely meant for younger readers but it was such a great light read and it was such a good book to kick off 2023 with. The second book I read this month, uh, well in January, was um, Homebody by Ruby Carr and I do apologise if I'm mispronouncing her name. Um, it was an amazing uh, poetry collection and it was actually the first of her books that I've ever read. Um, I know she's got some other super famous ones like Milk and Honey and things but this was the first one that I just kind of got my hands on and I loved it and I, I'm definitely going to look out um, for some of her other work as well because if it's anything like Homebody I know I'm going to love it. It was such a, a great collection and it was really like raw and but as poetry tends to be sort of thing so it was such a great intimate look into like everything that she's experienced and things like that and I really think that everybody can probably find at least one um, of the poems from this book that they can probably relate to so this was actually my first five star read of the year. The third book that I finished in January was Hunterland. So this was good, this was another um, advanced copy that I got from the author and I just know that this series is going to be amazing, I can already tell. We've got enemies to lovers, we've got monster hunting, we've got mysteries. I mean I'm already hooked, what else do you need from a book? Um, it was really good, obviously there's monster hunting so obviously there's fantasy involved and it's one of those books that doesn't just chuck a whole bunch of information at you. I can't stand like the info dump at the beginning of some fantasy books. I like to find out about things naturally and that's what really happened here. We follow the story and you really get to find things out in a really natural way. Um, so I really appreciated that, that the world building was done really, really well. Um, this, the pacing of the story was so good. There were so many twists and surprises that it really, like, every time I tried to put it down, I'd get to the end of the chapter and be like, oh no, no, just one more, just one more. And the next thing I knew, it was like the middle of the night. So definitely a great book. And I'm really happy um, that I got to read this one um, so early. I rated it four stars and I already can't wait for the next book. I'm so impatient. My fourth read was actually a listen. It was an audiobook of I'm Glad My Mom Died. Now with this one, I kind of don't know how to phrase it. I want to say that I enjoyed it, but that feels wrong because if, if you haven't heard about I'm Glad My Mom Died, I mean you probably have because it's been super popular, but if you haven't, there's definite trigger warnings in here for like eating disorders, abuse and all sorts of other things. So it's kind of hard to say that I I enjoyed the book because of the subject matter because obviously it deals with Jeanette McCarty's life and basically the trauma and the abuse um, that our mother caused her um, and how she's like dealt with that from being a young child up to a fully grown adult now so <laughs> it was definitely it was a very hard book to stop listening to um, I always just wanted to hear what was happening next and the chapters were really short and I love like when somebody does like a memoir or whatever when they read it themselves um, and she puts a lot of life into her story you can tell that it's obviously been hard for her to sit down and write all this out but it's obviously been in like a very therapeutic process for it as well you can really tell from how her writing changes from the start to the end um, the content is obviously upsetting but if as long as you're okay with the trigger warnings I would definitely recommend that this was my second five star read of the month. 
and then to round out January my final book was Scorched so this one mm, I rated this one 3.5 I was going to go for 3 but I gave it an extra half star um, I got this as a, an advanced reader copy and there was so much potential here um, Kyra, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong Kyra is our main character but honestly I didn't really like her that much um, she has very strong feelings towards men um, very negative emotions but you find out that they're, they're very like valid why she doesn't like men um, because of her experiences in the past but so I understood that part of her character but she just wasn't really likeable to be honest um, and she's meant to have this relationship like an kind of enemies to lover kind of relationship with Jadox and uh, it just there was no chemistry I just feel like they just kind of got flung together and just decided to start their relationship and Kyra all of a sudden goes from hating him to being obsessed with him in like the span of like five seconds in the middle of the book it's just a complete 180 and it seems so out of character for her that it really kind of threw me for a loop and yeah it just it just didn't do it for me the, the story has so much potential that I will consider picking up the next one to see um, if there's more character development that I felt was lacking from this book but as it stood like, um, obviously there's a lot of magic and things involved in this book and there wasn't that big info dump again <laughs> you can see the theme here I don't like the big info dumps so that was good so I got to understand like the magic users their abilities and how the magic systems work and things like that really easily it was really easy to get my head around that but just Kyra is the main character just didn't do it for me and it's very hard to really really enjoy a book if you don't like the main character <laughs> so I'll consider picking up the next one but at this precise moment I'm really on the fence about it to be honest the story was good but there was just some bits in it that just didn't hit the mark for me and that's it that's the five books that I read this month definitely a little bit less than my 18 from December uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.